Well, Tommy, goals 18 and 19 at the weekend. Just tell us how much you're enjoying your football right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling for me. Um, you know, scoring goals is what I came here to do. Scoring goals is what I love to do as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm delighted to have my 18th and 19th goal. Um, and obviously, we got three points and we got the win, so it makes the goals even better. What's been the secret to the goal scoring success in your eyes? I think just believing in myself. You know, as I've come here, I've told myself, listen, you're going to help the team as much as possible. Do what you, do what you know how to do best. And um, like I said, just trying to get into the right areas and taking my opportunities. And um, I'm in a team where we've got fantastic players who obviously create chances and um, want to score goals. Um, very attacking minded, which, is, which helps me a lot, you know. You're only five goals away from achieving what you achieved at Bristol City two seasons ago. How much would you love to go past that? Uh, like I said, uh, at the beginning, uh, when I've come here, you know, I told myself if I get anywhere near what I got at Bristol City, I'll be happy, you know, and I'm so close to it now, you know, I'll be over the mood to obviously smash my record. And um, yeah, just keep believing, just keep getting in the right areas. It's easy to forget as well, you didn't play your first <coughs> championship game until about six weeks into the start of the season. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's crazy when you think of it like that. But um, I told myself, listen, I have to catch up with the top goal scorers. And at the time, I can't remember what they were on when I first came, but they had a f they were few in front. You know, um, I just had to keep believing in myself and, you know, time will tell. And um, I've got my goals and I want to carry them on. What's been your favourite in that time, perhaps technically and then emotionally as well? <sighs> There's been a few goals, you know. There's been a few goals where I couldn't control my emotions. Um, the Birmingham one, the penalty, even though it was a penalty, it felt so good. You know, my first derby game, you know, f f full out stadium, you know. Um, and uh, at the time of the game, the stage of the game, it, it was a very important goal. So, you know, um, it, was a, it was a fantastic feeling. And did you know you currently have the best goals to game ratio of any Aston Villa player in history? Ah, I didn't know that. but. It's, it's, it's undescribable. You can't really describe them kind of feelings. Um, it's, for me, it's clearly I'm doing something right and I just have to keep pushing, keep doing the right things. And um, with a bu bunch of boys that I'm playing with, you know, I know they're going to create more chances, you know, and um, score some goals. So I just have to keep going. And you're one away from 20. No one's done that since 1980, 1981. Peter With, club legend. Um, but how many are you targeting this season? Are you looking more towards that 30 mark? Uh, I think what's kept me going is I don't really set myself like a limit, you know, I just keep striving for more, you know. Um, I would love to obviously smash the 20 limit and touch in 30s, you know, that's, that's my dream. But um, like I said, I just take every game step by step and um, like I said, I just keep going, keep trying to score goals. And what would it mean to you personally to be the Skybet Championship top scorer come May? It will mean a lot, you know, um, uh, like I said. Um, no one believed that I would obviously still be here till this time. Obviously, when Premier League come for you, you know it's, it's like it's a big decision. Um, I chose to stay here. You know, I believed in the manager, I believed in the players, and obviously the fans and the great stadium and everything. Um, I put everything into consideration. So to to stay here, my aim is to finish top goal scorer, and if I do that, I'll be over the moon with it. Yeah, we obviously had that speculation at the start of the month, but yeah. why was it you felt here was the best place for you? I feel like here was home, you know, um, the boys made me feel at home straight away. The gaffer, obviously the new gaffer, the gaffer came in after I came in, you know, and obviously players like John Terry who I've grown up watching and obviously played with at Chelsea, you know, it's, it's, it just feels like a big family, you know, the fans, everyone's supporting. It's a great stadium, great team, great staff, everyone's just great here. How much of an influence was uh, Dean Smith in that and what did he say to you? Dean Smith and John Terry, to be fair, um, they, they called me every day. Um, they just said, listen, we believe that you'll score many goals here. We believe that you could possibly take us up as well. And, you know, when a manager believes in you that deeply, you know, it just gives you that confidence, you know, because you go out there every game, you want to do your best, not just for yourself and the team, you want to do the best for the staff and the coaches and everyone who believes in you as well. Yeah, you'll be essential in any bid to reach the top six now. Is that still the burning ambition? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, um, I'm here. We've got great, like I said, we've got great players. Um, um, I'm here to, and I only believe in one thing. I believe in taking Aston Villa up and that's what I set my mind to.
And obviously now back to winning ways at the weekend. Do you really feel this can be the start of a run? I really do. I really do. Um, we've got a few games, you know, with them games where people expect off. Obviously, a big club at Aston Villa to win games. It's always the difficult ones. Um, we can't take our foot off the gas now. We have to keep going, keep pushing, keep getting the results. And we've got some tough games coming up towards the end of the season as well. So we just have to pick up the points now and just hopefully go into the full conference.